Hi guys, my name is Ezra and welcome back to my channel. So first disclaimer, there's going to be a video that I'm going to be uploading next next week and it's going to be the unforgettable books rant-ish talk, I'm not sure. But in that video, I say that I did that video right after I did the fall book tag video and I was using a different shirt. And the reason for that is not because I like purposely wanted to change shirts, it's just because I used the same shirt, the pink sweater thing, in both videos, but my first attempt at the fall book tag, tag, I guess, I realized that the audio did not match, so I was like, fuck, I gotta redo this shit again. So here I am, redoing the fall book tag, tag video. Right. So I was tagged by Laura on her blog, I honest to god cannot remember the name of her blog, I'm really sorry, but I'll put like links questions down below as usual and let's get started so the first question is crisp fall air a book that felt fresh and new and i chose pelukis jalan by teme abdullah and the reason i chose this book is because i felt like the book was really refreshing for me i'm not the type of person who reads a lot of malay books so this was like my first attempt or foray into like the malay malaysian books malay books thing and yeah I really liked it. I really liked how the author like mixed between English and Malay. I really like it's a memoir about him talking about his struggles to go study in the UK, what he did, his part-time job, his struggles in Malaysia before going, his struggles in the UK, studying there, his experience, and it was like really really nice to see like how he struggled and then how he overcame those struggles, how he is still struggling and how like with God's will, he overcame it, like having income, he found different different types of incomes, he had to reject some income because it wasn't like the halal way, and I, I could respect him for that, and then it's it's nice to, to see it, like a Malaysian, because I felt I could relate, because I too am Malaysian, I went to like, uh, I went to university in Curtin, and um, well, it wasn't overseas, but I had a lot of overseas friends, but you know, I could relate to the dude, basically. And that's it, I guess. Also, I have a review for Pelukis Jalanan, and I will link it somewhere. So you can check it out if you want. And then the second book is Howling Winds, an ending that blew you away. Okay, I wouldn't say this ending blew me away. I guess it could. I guess it could. I mean, it blew me away for all the wrong reasons. So the book that I chose is Evidence of Love by John Blooms and Jim Atkinson. I swear to God, I cannot remember the names of the author. I remember John Bloom, but Jim Atkinson, I'm not sure. Is it Atkins or is it Atkinson? Is it even Jim? So anyways, the reason I chose this book um, for this second question is not because, like, I don't know. I guess basically I, the ending did blew me away because it's about this murder case that happened in the 80s, if I'm not mistaken, um, where Candy Montgomery killed Betty Gore by chopping her up with an axe and she got acquitted by the way so that that blew me away I mean like that crazy bitch had a relationship like an affair with Betty Gore's husband and then bitch got confronted by Betty Gore and then Candy the crazy bitch chopped Betty Gore up with an axe she chopped her up so bad the the jaw was not even, was almost not attached to the skull. Like, can you imagine that crazy bitch's actions? Can you can you just think about it? And then they she got acquitted because like as far as I could remember of this case is that they said that oh she didn't she had a good reputation. She went to church. She never did anything wrong. And I'm like, but she chopped somebody up with an axe. I think there's something wrong with that person. Who the fuck cares if she had no reputation? Like, you know, she had a good reputation. My bad. So, you know, it kind of shocked me. And then it's like, the fuck? And then the thing is that they said it was like, her her team said it was self-defense, right? But the thing is, she tried to clean up the murder scene, right? And she purposely left the baby. There was a baby in the house. She just left the baby for a whole day. She didn't call the police, she didn't call anybody, she didn't tell anybody 
that there's a baby in the house alone, nothing. The husband, by the way, the husband of Betty Gore was not in the house was because he had a business meeting to attend to. And he was the one who kept calling his wife, calling, calling, calling. She didn't pick up. And then finally, he begged his like neighbor to check on the house. But basically, yeah. The ending blew me away because that bitch is crazy. Okay, my phone ran out of memory. But let's continue to question number three. Comfy Sweaters, a book that gave you the warm and fuzzies. And then, I don't know, I wanted to choose like my, my normal books like Harry Potter, Percy Jackson. But I thought, you know, I keep using those books and it's kind of getting boring you know so let's choose something else so i will choose from my most favorite genre historical romance and the book that i chose is because of miss bridgerton by julia quinn and the reason why i chose this book is because for me this book is fucking hilarious it is so funny it is so hard for me to find a historical romance that i find consistently funny like they're like other historical romance books, there are some comedic aspects, but it's like not throughout the whole book that it's just hilarious. In this book, I just found everything to be fucking hilarious. I laughed so loud in the gym when I was reading this, in the gym, on the treadmill. So yeah, I chose this book and it, you know, gave like a good impression. I am a huge fan of Julia Quinn now. So, next book is, no, next question, my bad. Number four, Bright Colors, a cover with either red, orange, or yellow. And the book I chose for this is Final Girls by Riley Sager. It's not that I like this book. I gave this book, I think, a three out of five. And the reason I gave it a three out of five was because I felt it was so... The plot was so confusing for me. I felt like I was on an LSD trip, you know? And there was a lot of... The ending was weird. The characters were weird. I hated the main character. It was just a weird book. Eh, you know so yeah but I chose this book because when I checked it on NetGalley the cover was so nice it's like um black background with like red undertones is it red undertones I don't know but it's like black and red and then there's like the title I will try to put it you know the cover in this video if I know how but if I don't know how then I guess you guys just have to find it on Goodreads, don't you? So yeah, I really liked it. And okay, next question. Five, Leaf Fight, a book with non-stop action. I got fucking nothing. I don't read a lot of action books. I read a lot of suspense books, thriller books, historical romance. Unless you count like sexy time for some action, but I don't think so. Smoochy smoochy time is not action. Um, Yeah, I got nothing, sorry. So number six, the last one is Pumpkin Spice, your most anticipated read. I got nothing. I do not anticipate to read anything. I just read on the go, if I read at all. So that is it for this video. If you guys want to do this tag, just tag yourself, I guess, because I don't know anybody or like I'm not close to anybody on YouTube or BookTube, whatever. Yeah. As usual, I'll put all the links down below, questions and stuff down below. Bye, guys.